Hello guys, my name is Rohit Kumar Thakur and in this video I will show you how to add Facebook authentication uh, to React Native Expo project uh, using Firebase. Uh, you can watch the demo of this project. Uh, UI is simple cause I wanna show you uh, just how the Facebook authentication works. So let's start an expo project, uh, choose the blank template, uh, then name your application and continue to dependencies downloading. Uh, the installation and project setup are a little bit uh, hectic, so I must tell you to pay a little bit more extra attention. Uh, now, uh, now if you visit the Expo Facebook page, uh, you can see the Expo Facebook is deprecated for the SDK version 46. Uh, so we are going to use the React Native uh, Facebook SDK next, uh, which requires native code. Uh, before doing anything, uh, let's install this package. Uh, you can see that uh, this package cannot be used in the Expo Go mobile application uh, because it uh, requires the custom native code. Uh, now to use the custom native code in the Expo, uh, you can go either with the development build method or pre-build method. Uh, here we are going with the development method. Uh, here we have to install a package according to the documentation, so install that first. Now create your first development build. Uh, this process might take 5 to 10 minutes. Uh, you have to wait till then. Meanwhile, if something goes wrong, then you have to uh, rebuild your application using the same command. Uh, you can see that our build is ready. So just proceed the next step. Uh, we have to add this plugin to our JSON file. Uh, don't forget to put a comma at the end. Uh, now we need uh, the client token and the application name and application ID. To get that, uh, let's set up our Facebook developer profile. Uh, copy the application ID, application name and client token and paste them to the plugin. Now let's set up the Facebook application for Facebook sign in. Uh, here I am testing this application on my Android device, uh, that's why I am selecting the Android here. Now to fill out the key hashes here, we need the SHA1 fingerprint. To get that, uh, we need the EAS credentials. So run the command in your terminal, as you can see that on screen as well. Select Android. Select Development. Select key store, then set up a new key store, then select uh, create a new build credentials. Uh, you can see that uh, we have two build credentials. The first one is the default one and the second one is the newly created credentials. 
now we have to convert the sha1 key to key hashes uh, we will use the key hashes value in the facebook android setup now if you follow the official facebook expo documentation then they provide a link uh, where you can convert the hex keys into base 64 so let's do that Uh, copy the android package name and paste it here now for the class name uh, you just have to fill package name dot main activity something like this uh, you can see that on a screen as well Uh, here in the products, uh, let's set up our Facebook login. Now let's set up our Firebase web application. Uh, install the firebase uh, here i am using the version 9 uh, which is the latest let's add the firebase config keys to our project Now, inside the Firebase authentication, just enable the Facebook sign-in provider. Uh, here we need the application ID and the secret key of the Facebook application. So copy these config keys and paste them here. We have to paste uh, this link to the redirect URL. So let's do it.
now if you check the documentation uh, then we have to rebuild our application so run the previous build command and rebuild your application Uh, you can see that our build is complete now so let's uh, test this application uh, here you will need one qr code scanner application uh, you can either download it from play store or use my scanner application i will provide the link in the description box scan this qr code open the url and download the build package The package is safe uh, because you just build it so install it now. Now run the export dev client command in your terminal window. Scan the QR code. Uh, copy and paste the URL link uh, to the development build application. Uh, you can see that our project is running fine. So now let's add the Facebook sign in code to our project. Uh, we have two states uh, one is the pre login state and the other is the post login state uh, we are also uh, using the use effect hook here because the use effect hook gonna remember the change in the state of our application Now uh, let's add the sign in with Facebook function. Uh, here GitHub Copilot suggested me some code. So let's customize it a little bit.
uh, here if the user is not logged in then we will show them the login screen but if the user completes the sign in process uh, then we gonna show them their dashboard uh, with their name and profile picture You can see the name of the Facebook account uh, rendered on the dashboard screen. This means that the state has changed and we logged in successfully. Now check out the Firebase application. It shows that a user is registered using Facebook. Uh, you can also check out the terminal uh, for all the user's information uh, because we console log uh, the user's data in our code. Uh, remember one thing, uh, here we build this application for development purposes. The production build is slightly different. Uh, you have to fill out all the boxes of the Facebook developer application and provide the production key hashes instead of the development key hashes. So good luck and happy hacking. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Subscribe this channel for more project based videos on React Native, Python, Data Science, Django and Machine Learning.